I finally have three new country balls for you, India, China, and Japan. The long-awaited Asia drop is here and actually the long-awaited non-country ball ball is finally here i know you guys have been asking for me to do something like this for a while as you might know typically throughout country ball comics japan is depicted as uh very cutesy oftentimes really cat-like and it's also the first ball i've ever done that isn't angry so head on over to makeship.com to order yours today there will be links in the description down below for that it's actually been amazing to see everyone's photos from all their different collections because at this point we've dropped so many like there's literally an army some people have i of course have my own like international army of country balls stashed around my house. I sometimes have like multiples of the same country balls. That's always fun. Again, as always, if you choose to purchase two, you get a discount. And if you purchase all three, you get an even bigger discount. But I can only sell these for a limited time. They will never come out again. It's actually funny. Like even if no one bought these, I feel like I would still make them just for myself, just because I, I really like having all of these around. The Netherlands and Ecuador reacting to their 1-1 tie in the World Cup. Pain and please let this third shot be on target. Yeah, they both didn't take this too well. Then there's America and England reacting to their tie in the World Cup. We won! Zero, zero! America rules! In my life please. I think throughout most sports, you don't react too great to a tie, unless you're America playing soccer, in which you really don't care that much in the first place. Tying in a sport you don't care about is basically a win to them, I guess. It is literally just like 1814 all over again. We out here thinking we took a dub in a tie. Hashtag winning. It's the World Cup. It's England. It's the World Cup. It's England. It's the World Cup. It's England. You are going to evil Qatar. You should protest it, says Italy. Don't care, mate. It's football. You're just mad because you didn't get invited. They don't care about people though. Do not care. It's football. Speak bloody English. Qatar banned beers. This World Cup is bloody evil. That's right. Frick Qatar. That's all Italy had to say to get England on their side. How are you supposed to enjoy it without anything to drink? Apparently you can if you have a lot of money though, if you're in like a luxury suite. However, other things like public speech is also limited. Also, you have to wear clothes. So there actually might be multiple problems. Is the chai bag $13? Of yes, sirs. I'll give you five, 12, five, 10, five, Five, seven, five, five. Okay, friggin' fine, take it. India with the bargaining. How much for the entire Coca-Cola stash in the bag? 5,000. I'll give you 10,000. Oh, there's the deal. Wait, no, 15,000. M already say deal. Haha, <laughs> what a steal. I'm such a negotiator. I have bring coupon for drinks. Sir, we don't accept coupon. You do now. Click hear of me 100% off coupon. Who would have thought Somalia is actually the best negotiator of them all? And I thought India was good. As you can see though, overall, different countries have different bargaining tactics. As an American, this is pretty much how good I am though. I gotta find a way to get those 100% off coupons. For our next trick, we'll saw in this country in two. So we have the USA and the Soviet Union obviously sign a South Korea. This is Korea, so the North is gonna be over here. Ta-da! Watashi of wow, says Japan Ball. But of howing put him back togethers. Oh, he's not a cute Japan Ball like this. Uh... For our next uh, trick disappearance. Frick you! No, frick you. Double frick you. No, triple frick you. Poof! Meanwhile, the USA and Soviet Union are not to be found, leaving Japan having to deal with all of this. This was literally the Cold War summarized for a lot of places. The two superpowers here were just like, hey, we're gonna go to this random part of the world, cause a bunch of chaos, and then just dip. Like in Vietnam, leaving all the surrounding countries to have to deal with this mess. It must have been incredibly annoying for a lot of these places. Like, no wonder there's a huge non-aligned movement. USA and Soviet Union just come around, mess everything up, and leave. Although, to be fair, they did manage to put Germany back together somehow. <laughs> do 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 That's... That's just the battle, sabers in hand, the Bolshevik chase, chase, chase. I can literally hear the metal music playing in the background right now. Poland's been waiting to push that little Article 5 red button for a while now. Luckily, there wasn't actually a Russian flag on it, though. And because Poland is a NATO member right here on the border of all the chaos, they're ready to go at any moment. So trigger a lot more than just an angry Poland, that's for sure. Hey there, Poland. You all right, bud? <laughs> They've just been staring at it this whole time. You can literally see the craziness behind those eyes. And to be fair, do you blame them? Poland has disappeared in history so many times, I don't think they're willing to do it again. They're gonna put the whole world with them before that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Poland of me. My bad. <laughs>
I was almost about to press the five button. Do you realize what you almost did, Ukraine? I love that the rocket's sticking out of their head. I'm glad we had three different comics telling us the entire storyline. It was apparently some Ukrainian anti-air stuff. It almost feels like Poland wanted to push the red button. What happened to you, Japan? You look a bit weirder and more soft since the last time we met. Is of Japan? <laughs> Dive into changing America-san. Finally, a cute Japan ball. Must be a side effect of nuclear radiation. Of weird, says Papua New Guinea in the background. 500 yen for the tail? Oh, that's only $3.61. I not knowing see you guys, but I like this Japan better. Me like too, says Singapore. Japan, you can into joining our EU like club anytime. Oh, all these country balls are part of their ASEAN group. It's like their very own European Union, except for Southeast Asian nations. But Japan is way up here. Japan, you are cool now. Even South Korea agree. Ooh, woo. Meh. I'll just follow the trend, says the USA as well. Phase two of plan is of success. Oh no, what is Japan actually doing? <laughs> Imagining like a scary imperialist Japan behind these cute little cat ears is absolutely hilarious to me. They knew this was their only way out and they did what they had to do. But behind those eyes, they are capable of horrors beyond human comprehension. I don't know if I can trust this guy now. FIFA rankings, Mexico 9th, Canada 48th. It's time for another Mundial football qualification match. Another piece of cake gonna wipe the floor with Los Canada. Edmonton, November 16th, temperature negative 18 degrees. Yeah, it might be kind of difficult to play soccer when you're literally an ice cube. Meanwhile, this is Canada's natural habitat. Seems pretty easy right there. Canada 2, Mexico 1. Well, somehow they managed to get at least one goal. Maybe a Canadian player accidentally kicked the ball and bounced it off this ice cube and win the goal. It's the only thing I can think of. And that qualifier match actually took place more than a year ago. I guess unfortunately for Canada, Qatar is not actually a frozen wasteland. But maybe for the next World Cup in 2026, they can have their home field advantage back. Funny because Mexico is actually not doing too well either though. 40 degrees Celsius or 105 Fahrenheit. Canada literally on fire. UK sweating bullets. Meanwhile, Australia is normal. 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Canada is no longer melting, but they are now on fire. Less sweats for the UK. Still Australia is good. 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Canada's sad about their ice cream still melting. UK is doing all right. Oh, but Australia is starting to have to bundle up. 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Still Canada, a little too warm for their liking. They got to drink some water. Perfect for the UK. Yep, got to bust out the scarf. We are now at the freezing point for both measurements. Canada is now just shocked that the other two aren't looking so great. Like, really? Negative 10 degrees Celsius or 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, woo, how the tables have turned. Yeah, um, I think the UK just doesn't like any temperature, huh? Well, it's better than the Australians right now. Negative 20 degrees Celsius. This is literally when the Canadians thrive, especially in soccer. Hopefully Australia doesn't have to play them anytime soon, but maybe they can bounce a goal off this ice cube. It's funny because this is kind of one big old British family in a way. Not that long ago, dad here had his two sons, Canada and Australia, but his two sons ended up very different depending on the temperature. Um, some thrive in the heat, others not so much, and vice versa. How does that even work? You would think Australia would be okay at handling the cold just because it is a giant desert. Deserts get pretty cold in the winter. Winters in Australia are generally cool with temperatures dropping as low as 5 degrees Celsius. That's not too bad. Although the coldest ever would be uh, pretty not good. Negative 23 degrees. I'm now just realizing the similarities between my home state of California and Australia. I didn't think we had anything in common. They seem like more than just the type to make fun of us. We want our freedom. Give us another vote, says Scotland. Bugger off. You had a bloody referendum eight years ago, responds England. But my people want it. What about democracy? Democracy is nice and all, but but what about bureaucracy? Don't make me do this the old way, laddie. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, that's right. That's the old way. Screaming for freedom and, you know, cutting people's heads off and stuff. I know it's totally not accurate, but maybe the English should watch Braveheart again. Just to get the general gist. You know. Throwback to 1297. Hey, Oklahoma. Hi, Texas. Wanna play Texas Hold'em? Uh, sure. How do you play? What is this? A wholesome country ball comic with Texas and Oklahoma. I never thought I'd see the day. These two states actually have a pretty big rivalry up there with like Michigan versus Ohio or New York versus New Jersey. There is literally a Red River Showdown, which is the body of water which separates these two places. Every year in football and the winner gets a golden 10 gallon hat. So I'm a little surprised to see that they've put aside their differences. Or maybe Texas just won the 10 gallon hat and now they're okay with being, you know, nice, playing nice. Hold up, you can say 
say that again. To make a good taco, you need ingredients muy fresh, says Mexico. Must make own tortilla, not too thick. Grill the carne until it's perfect. Lots of spices to make muy tasty. E for the top of the taco, queso from, I don't know how to pronounce this Mexican steak. Jalapeno fresh pepper from me backyard is very important. Oh, do or make tacos, says Norway. Jake make taco too. Look, is of shell that Jake buy from store. Who is Jake? Oh, I think Jake means I. Then add the meat. Is coming a seasoning packet, but Jake throw away because it's too spice for Norge. <laughs> I already know what Mexico's gonna do. I finish whole can of corn. Mexico just cannot believe what you've done to their food. No spices whatsoever. To be fair, there's a lot of countries that do this. Even in the US, we do this. Buy like the most store-bought tacos ever. I gotta imagine, this has to be the feeling Italy gets when they see pizza being made everywhere. And what's crazy is Norway loves tacos so much, they somehow made it Taco Friday. Or Taco Free Dag. Taco Friday, reinventing a Mexican classic for Scandinavian families. I think I did read about this once. I mean, they go crazy for tacos. I think every place does it a little bit differently. If you want to get yourself your very own country bowls, again, follow that link in the description down below to makeship.com. I can only sell these guys for a limited time. And big thanks to my patrons. A fat normal. Presented by Robert My wife e. hates this Sevy, part. if you hear this, Kilgore I love you, Drew's Daddy. Argentinian grandpa. $20 is Yarn a lot, Drew. Wild Bring fan. back Chris Poland 373. Ball. Danny Evan Good right. I stole lover. Drew's pet dog. Jack Patrick. Animation. Or the Polish, the Ryan, the Pine, the Mexican, and Zany Boy.